Hey, Dr. Josh here with Patient Mastery, and in Facebook I saw this question come up, legitimate question, where a doc is asking when you have a family that's doing care continuation, maintenance, wellness, whatever you wanna call it, is there a best protocol for discounting future family members? And after a decade of working with tons of chiropractors on my team, uh, we see what works and what doesn't. Now also, I remember when I was first out of school and I really didn't know what I should be charging and starting to work with a coach, this guy had this crazy algorithm for how to create family packages from the standpoint of you know, wanting to get a whole family and make it affordable and accessible. And what I realized within a few months of working with this doc is when things are that complicated, it doesn't work. Pretty much then realized all of this was BS. He wasn't successful. Asked around to other colleagues and they're like, ah, you ended up working with him. Unfortunately, that happens way too much in Cairo. Here's what does work when it comes to care continuation. If you sell a package, what happens? At the end of the package, it doesn't matter. 12, 24, 36 visits, doesn't matter. At the end, you have to resell. So that's the first uh, friction. The second is on a package, sometimes people can just delay in between and maybe there's like two, three, four months in between. So they're not getting care and you're not getting business. Those are the problems with the package model. Move that over to a subscription model where there's options. Maybe it's one visit a month, two visits a month, one visit a week, obviously different rates for different frequency. And then you miss it, you lose it. There's no um, ever, do you wanna buy another one? You can choose whether it's a locked in commitment for three, six, 12 months or just month to month. But ultimately this is naturally done. Do you wanna keep doing it? It's just every month that's a much better model and they can't you know string it out that's a much better model for patients getting quality care that progresses their health and getting back to their life and getting a better life and you getting paid for providing that service now when it comes to family you could also make family subscriptions now if you really want to do packages for families best way to do it is not that every family member has a different package here's the secret have a package of visits that anyone in the family can, visit, that can use, and then when it runs out, whether it's the fourth, third, or first family member uses the last visit, the family can re-up for another package. If you have everyone on different packages, it makes it a lot heavier, a lot convoluted, especially if you're discounting per person. So if you have an entire package that anyone in the family can use, guess what? There's no continual discounts. It doesn't get crazy wonky at the front desk. This is what happens when people are on different discounteds. The first three family members stop care and then the fourth family member coming in for $3.50 is uh, your primary patient and you're losing money per visit. Bottom line is these two routes, whether it's for a family with packages or a general patient package for subscription, this is what works. And if you wanna know what works, you gotta be part of communities and tribes that are growing and excelling and doing what works today in chiropractic. That's why I love the patient mastery community. Everyone is sharing what's worked best, what is working best, and we just keep making it better. You need help, reach out, we're here for you.